Team Liquid announced a new Rocket League roster yesterday, including former Mouse players Kosier and Speed, as well as being joined by Fruity. And so I want to discuss that today, as well as cover the Summer Showdown preview that's coming up in two days from BTS. So everybody, let's get into it. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're enjoying your day and getting ready for some Rocket League talk. I want to talk about Team Liquid joining the scene today. Uh, it was really cool that they came in and picked up this team. I loved Mouse Sports when they were in the scene. They were my favorite EU team to watch. And I loved Cloud9 in NA, but now they're both gone, the organizations at least. And so I thought it was cool at least to see Team Liquid come in here. I love seeing big organiz big organizations like this come in and, and pick up the players and like help support them. I really think it can go a long way if the organizations use it right. I think we've seen examples of that in the past with teams like G2 and NRG and Cloud9 where these organizations can make a big difference and like I think help support the players, which is really cool to see. Uh, obviously, Cooksier is a fan favorite. I think Speed's a good player, and I'd like to see how Fruity rebounds after uh, being removed from Oxygen. I think you know it was crazy. They were. It's like uh, in my entire Rocket League career, it feels like PSG were always a team, even once they moved to Team Reciprocity, and Cloud9 were always a team. But now everything's changing up. But I do think he'll form well. I think he'll fit in well with this squad. Um, I think it'll be. I think I think he'll be able to replicate Arju's performance pretty well. I, I know Scrub Kilo, when he was there, they were expected to be like a super roster, but that never worked out quite as well as they hoped. And so I think they'll be able to rebound here and Speed and Cooksier and Fruity will hopefully make a good team. At the very least, they're all veterans. They know what they're doing. They know why they're here. And that'll be exciting to watch. So I, yeah, uh, welcome to Team Liquid. I, I think it's really awesome that another big org joins the league. Those decals look pretty sick too. Uh, so yeah, after that, uh, let's move into our summer showdown preview. I'm super excited about this actually. We have a, a tweet here from BTS Rocket League announcing who the teams would be, except for two. They left two of the qualifiers uh, unnamed and I don't know how to find where these qualifiers are taking place or if we're even able to watch them. But either way, super exciting. I love these tournaments. Also, how about the theme? I love the colors and the branding and everything. Super cool. So $45,000 price pool, group stages, and then double elimination bracket. Uh, I love that. I love double elimination bracket and best of sevens as well. So that's super exciting. I think it's important that, uh, you know, teams get that second chance because I like watching some of my favorite teams and if they lose, I want to be able to see them. But <laughs> from a more analytical standpoint, it means more Rocket League and I love watching that. And so yeah, let's go through the teams here. I'm actually really excited to see Energy because I missed the last tournament that Energy was in now with Squishy on the roster and I'd love to see that. I can't wait to see how they all play together. G2, of course, have been super dominant. Uh, e United, I think they they can be better still. I think they've looked a little bit better, maybe. Uh, they didn't have a great performance the last time we saw them, but they, there's always the potential for an upset there. Uh, either way, it's still a high-quality team. Uh, I don't know if they're you know as good as some of the other teams in this tournament, but I do think they're a good team. They'll be fun to watch. And Rogue, of course, this is where I think it gets really interesting. I think their new roster could be really good. I think Kronovi is still playing really well. Uh, just by his, I guess, advanced age in Rocket League, right? He's been around for ages. He's still so, so good. And I love um, uh, First Killer. I think he's a superstar, or at least a superstar in the making. Even if not quite yet, I think he will be. And uh, Turn Turo comes in and gets picked up, and I think that's where it's kind of a wild card now. I always liked Wonder, um, but I think he was the weak spot for sure. And so now Turn Turo coming in, I think it's a step up, and that'll be another key piece out of this Rogue roster that feels like it's been just like one step away for a while now from really, really clicking and becoming a good team. And I'll have to watch more of Turn Turo's game. I haven't seen a ton of him, but I am super excited to see how he fills in on this roster and I'd love to see how they perform this week. As for Space Station Gaming, I think these guys are one of the best teams in the world still. Uh, you know, maybe it's become a bit more crowded. I think Energy and G2 might be possibly better than them on any given day. But either way, I do still think Space Station's a contender for this tournament. And I love their playstyle. If you didn't see, I just broke down their final of the Brawl where they won and what I think makes them such a great team. And the, the players are so fun to watch. They're like so good on the ball. It's, it's amazing to watch. And Team Envy, of course, is kind of crazy. This one was formerly Vanguard, who was formerly Ghost. Uh, and but yeah, Illusion, Atomic, and Mist until they picked up Turbo Pulsa from Energy, which is exciting. Um, I'm pretty sure Turbo Pulse is going to repla be replacing Illusion, is that correct? Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what's going on here. Which is a shame, because I've always liked Illusion ever since his days on Allegiance when he came after the RLCS. But either way, I think Atomic Mist and Turbo Pulse is a superstar roster. 
And these guys are also going to be looking to contend in every tournament they're in. As for the two qualifier teams, I have no idea. <laughs> I I um I, I think you know maybe like just close qualifiers behind the thing. I don't know if there's any like media hype behind it or if it's literally just whoever qualifies based on some matches. But either way, it's super exciting and I can't wait to watch it. I think the fact that some of the teams haven't been announced yet is kind of also building up the hype for it. So that'll be really exciting to watch. Uh, like I said, I love the branding for it. Super cool that it's double elimination and best of sevens and everything. And so yeah, July 7th to July 12th, that, um, that'll be fun to watch. And five days of double elimination Rocket League, that'll be a lot to cover. And I love to do some like recaps and breakdowns and stuff like that. So everybody, if you've enjoyed, uh, please subscribe for more content. Obviously, I have some Overwatchy content on here as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.